on Wednesday's video we started opening this box of goodies that was sent to me by a gentleman called Stephen George. Quite a few people pointed out that this thing which I said was a mandrel is in fact a lap. That's a soft metal on there, it looks like bronze. And you put a rubbing compound on there and a brazen of compound on there and that is a tight fit into a bow and that spins and you turn that in to expand that. It's for lapping cylinders to a fine finish in a finished size. I've never used one before, I've heard about them, I've read in old books how you can make them. I've actually got a one now. It's got a range of 5 8 to 1 inch, so there's obviously more brass or bronze sleeves that go onto there. So thanks to everybody that left a comment and told us what it is. It's a lap. And it doesn't look like it's being used to tell you the truth. Right, I've also sharpened my knife because the knife was pathetic. So I've sharpened that. It's a, I've got a couple of them. It's a scalpel, whether who are made or what, I don't know. Um, but the blades take a good edge. Really nice bits of kit, you Right, on to the next little item. I see I haven't been tempted to touch any of these. I've just left them alone for this Sunday's video. That's a hole punch or a wad punch. Used for making gaskets for car engines or joints for steam engines. I've got quite a few of them, that'll go in with a set. Right, this looks like a pressure gauge. Indeed it is a pressure gauge, and it's a really nice one. Glycerine filled, up to 250 PSI. That's a nice gauge. What I'll do, I'll check it for IOC against my calibrated gauge. But I would imagine the quality of that is going to be pretty good. I'll definitely get to find a use for that on possibly a, a future gas turbine or something. But it really is a nice pressure gauge. I just like, like pressure gauges. Little set of needle files, I think they're diamond, what they call diamond files, really handy for finishing and deburring sharp edges. I have got some, but I haven't got a set of diamond files. Piece of brass bar, brass stock, you can use a punch at some time, that'll get used, I'll make, a, make fittings out of I've got quite a lot of brass, it does get used. Oops. Another John Bull DTI. It's not as good as the other one. But it is a metric. I'll give it to my friend Bob and see if he can clean it up for us. Uh, the ones with the yellow screen are good because you can video these and the light doesn't seem to bounce back quite as bad as it does from a white one. Oh, that's nice. I know exactly where that'll be going. That's a, what they call a greaser. Filled with grease. And you keep turning the lid down a little bit. It injects a bit of grease into a bearing. I've got a lad with a steam engine. He's looking for something just like that. So that straight away, it'll be put to a really good use. It'll be used for what it's meant to be used for. Right, this is heavy, no idea what's in here. Oh, a box with some really nice bits of swag in here. Nice little set square. Little J clamps are handy for holding parts when you're welding and soldering. They're not coming wrong. A 
These are parts of machinist jacks. They fit into a base and whatever you're trying to jack up or keep still goes into there. Nice little slit and saw on a homemade arbor. That's heavy. That's carbide. Indeed it is. A solid carbide. Born to a melon cutter. A two to three most tape our sleeve, which appears to be brand new. A little bit of surface rust on it, but it'll clean up very nicely. Seven millimeter. Once again, solid carbide, ball newer's milling cutter. Six mil top, machine top, being used, but it's in good condition. That's what they call a fish tail for setting up. Screw cutting tools. I've actually, I had two of these, I've lost one of them. I lent it to somebody, I don't know where it went to, but uh, the other hand, I'll show it to you later on. That's nice. Little woodruff key cutter. I've got one or two, but I haven't got one as small as that. I think that'll be a magnet. Here's a magnet underneath there. Telescopic magnet, very handy. Carbide drill, or rather a cobalt drill, looks like 10, this 10 mil. Tweezers, and if I get bits of metal out of fingers. Four mil machine tap. I've only got one four mil tap left, so that's coming a good time. Another really nice cobalt drill. And another one, little short drills, very rigid. They're good for drilling on broken studs. Another one. And yet another one, these haven't been used. Quite sure what's in here, little box with Quite sure how it opens. Looks like a sliding, a sliding lid. Hmm. I'll come back to that. Back to that. Another really fine slit and saw on a little mandrel. Rima. Imperial. That's solid carbide. I think that's what they call a spot drill. Another solid carbide drill. Been hand sharpened that one. Another one. Like a ball nose milling cutter. Some really fine slitting discs that will go with that one. Mill and cutter, 8 mil, once again, carbide. A nice parallel carbide burr. I use these all the time for aluminium welding, for cleaning the parts up when you're welding them. AR32. That's an AR25 collet spanner. 
haven't got any AR, AR 25 collets, so that'll be going to get given away. And lastly, more than right, depth micrometer in metric, in good condition as well. I've got a one, but I don't think it's as good as this one. Right, that's splendid, Stephen. Thanks very much for the your generosity. It is much appreciated. A lot of this stuff will be given away um, in my monthly giveaways. Right, that's it there. It's actually an M3 die. Not just an M3 die, it's an M3 left hand die. The chance of me using that is so remote. I'll get my friend Bob uh, because he plays around with the, the less than 6mm stuff all the time. It's just time to say thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do. It is free, it does make a big difference. And I'm now on 99,000, so a thousand more, and I get 100,000, and I get me YouTube gong sort of thing. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching.